I'm going to show you how to make this text effect with CorelDRAW 2020. So without any further ado, let's go into the video. Hello you guys, my name is Dennis. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you want to learn graphic design and how to make creative designs, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you get notified when I upload another video like this one. So I'm going to start by typing out this text here. And I'm going to apply four different paper tone effects on this text. And this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to work with this typeface chewer like this. And press Ctrl K to break the text. Remember, Ctrl K is used to break text. So I'm going to start with paper. I'm going to give this red color and give it a contour like this. Click here to bring out this contour. Now my contour is already set for round corners. If you want to change it from round corners to sharp edges, you can click here and you see metal corners, round corners, and bevel corners. So I leave it at round corners and that's okay for me. And the next thing I'm going to do is to break my contour. So I'm going to click on object and you see break contour apart. Or you can simply press Ctrl K to break the contour. And you can see now my contour is out while my text is also out and the next thing i'm going to do is to give this contour another color which i'm going to leave it at yellow while my text will remain red and i'm going to apply this effect like this press ctrl d while you are clicking on the text press ctrl d to duplicate the text press shift and select the first text and press c and t to make sure the text align with the first one so now we have two different text plus the contour i'm going to return this back okay and i'm going to use my free hand tool to create this effect like this draw and make a kind of tone effect like this you can move your mouse like this so you create this effect then move it to this other side where you want to apply the effect you actually do it randomly at your own choice how you want it to be there's no specific way of doing it just make sure you move on a zigzag line till you get to the end of the edge then you join it with the first one which you started with and that is it then press shift on your keyboard and select the text you want to trim then you click on trim and once you click on trim you can delete off this uh, shape we created then you can see what we get here i'll give this another color so this is how it looks like actually then you click on the text the top text and add shadow to it like this so this is how it looks like and you can now give it any color you want to give it so i'm going to give the red share the red text a color like this fine and press shift and select the contour and give it red color as well and click on the yellow text on top and give it fill it with another color like this remember i'm using my interactive fill tool to fill it with this color so that is the first text effect for this one and the next one i'm going to do is for tone so i'm going to bring tone here enlarge it this way and give it um, red as well now you can use any color of your choice all you have to get is how to create this text effect and for this one i'm going to create contour as well contour tool and you click on outside contour to get this effect this way you can make the contour large a little but this time around okay i'm going to break the contour click on objects break contour apart or Control k and this time around i'm going to make sure the tier uh, effect but this time around, I'm going to make sure the tear effect passes through the turn this way. So I'm going to duplicate the top text again. Ctrl D to duplicate. Press Shift and select the first text and press C and T to make sure it aligns together. Then you use your freehand tool again and create the 
TA effect like this. Just move on a zigzag line across the text like this and bring it down to where you started and click on your pick to press shift and select the top text and trim. Then you can delete this shape. Then you can give this another color like this and give this contour another color. Let me use white this time around and add shadows to the contour like you can see i added shadows to the contour then click on the text the shape on top that is the red shape and give it shadow as well you can increase the shadow like this and reduce this again and that looks very perfect then you select your interactive view tool and fill it with yellow like this you can turn it this other way this looks very cool so let's try out and see something change the color of the contour to uh, red okay it brings out a good look of that red so let's leave it at red okay that looks very good then this time around i'm going to work with text i'm going to bring text here and give it a uh, red as well sorry i'm working with almost red and yellow only and i'll just work with these colors for the sake of this tutorial all you need to know is how to create the text effect then i'm going to this time around i'm not going to use contour i'm using another method entirely so i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate press shift and select the first text press c and t to align them together then using your free hand to you create the zigzag lines like this across the text oh my god okay i have to zoom out so i can continue from where i stopped and bring it out here okay then you can now come to where you started okay and join it there then press shift and select the text on top and press trim to trim out the text then you can delete this shape and select this and give it yellow so you can see it has two different varieties now then the top uh, text there you can give it a shadow like this so it looks very perfect you can play with interactive view tool also to give a specific look you can select the yellow text as well press alternate to select the yellow text then use your interactive view tool and fill it with red to get this look this looks perfect okay and it's left with effect i'm going to take this upwards so see how it looks like um place it here give it red color as well then i'm going to use my shape tool to move it together because i like my text to be together like this adjust the tracking okay now the text is okay then you can now Press Ctrl D to duplicate, press Shift and select the effect, press C and T to align them together. Then using your free hand tool also, you can trim it out like this, creating these zigzag shapes like this. Move it here and do the same here. Okay. Okay, press Shift and select the top text and click on Trim to trim out the shape like this. So you can delete all this shape and give this another color like yellow as well and you can fill it using your interactive view to fill it this way this looks good and that's it this time around i'm not using any shadow that's to tell you you can still achieve your effect even without shadows then you can add another few here to give it more gradient and this looks very perfect now with this idea of this text effect you can do even more than this by power clipping some backgrounds into the shape to give it more good look so this is what i wanted you to know on this tutorial this is how to create the paper tone text effect i'm going to arrange them here like this so you see how it looks so i have to group that and bring it here group this and bring it here you can reduce this again select all press c ctrl g and p 
so this is how to create the paper tone text effect if you found this video helpful kindly like comment and share this video to every other graphic designer that would like to learn how to make this paper tone text effects thank you so much for watching this video i will see you next time